Today I'm going to talk about CBD oil and here I have it here, Vitality CBD. I think they're all pretty much the same, it just comes down to the strength really. This is lemon flavour, I like lemon. One spray has 3.2 milligrams of CBD. So my problem with it is that I've never really get the effect of it and I think the dosage is too small for me. I'm going to try and see if I can do a reasonable enough dose and see if I get a reaction. It says shake well before use and then it says spray just under the tongue and wait for 90 seconds. So let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to check the time exactly five o'clock so I can check if I get a reaction and how long it takes if I do get a reaction. Okay, so that's 33 sprays of this, which should be 100 milligrams. So I'm gonna let that absorb and see if I get any reaction from it. Now the, the whole jar is 600 milligrams. So I think I'm gonna go again because, or do I have enough? I'm gonna go again because I don't think I'm gonna get any reaction from that. So let's go for another 33. Okay, so that should be 200 milligrams of CBD oil package you get with it. It's basically a, a spray. Now some of them come in droplets that you drop into. I think the spray is probably the best action because it makes sure it goes all the way into your mouth. And the drops I did have before, but it's a bit like, I don't know, it's a bit like you're kind of a, kind of a test tube in a science lab. This is just a little bit extra to make sure it gets right into your mouth. I looked on it as a cure for anxiety and I'd heard great things about it, about CBD oil. And that's why I've decided to take it. Now I have been taking it for about a year on and off. And what I've found is I get very little or no reaction. I think part of the problem is that I'm taking very low doses of it. So today, I hope that I will get a reaction to 200 milligrams, some sort of reaction. Actually, I'm gonna go again because I don't think I'm gonna get any reaction to that. Okay. I think I have drained the entire jar and I might have got up to the 33 out of that. I'm not sure, I'd say it's slightly less, but I think that is as close as I can get to 300 milligrams of CBD oil, which is pretty much the minimum that people recommend. And really that is my first problem with CBD oil because, okay, that was sold to me as a fairly big jar, which is 600 milligrams. And yet really you would have to offload half of that jar to get a reaction from it, to get to no, noticeably find a, a decent dose. I'm gonna see if I get a reaction Look, what I'm searching for from CBD oil and what I was searching for, yeah, just trying to absorb it first of all. What I have been searching for is a cure for anxiety from it and to see would it bring down my anxiety, would it can be? And I haven't seen that at all because I've been taking low doses of it, maybe 10 of those sprays, which in hindsight is probably just 30 milligrams, totally ineffective. So now, today, for the first time, I'm taking probably a reasonable suggested dose, which is 300 milligrams, and see if it has a reaction. Okay, well, I suppose I'm a couple of minutes in. Um, and no appreciable reaction yet, but I would say it will take maybe an hour, I don't know. CBD oil, it's, <clears throat> it is controversial in that, okay, what is it? I suppose, first of all, it comes from the cannabis plant, and cannabis plants, as far as I know, it has the two active root ingredients so CBD and THC and what we're told is the THC is the one that causes the problem uh, addiction that it causes psychosis in some people and the CBD is the benign part of the can cannabis plant which has all of the benefits so the theory is you split the CBD 
this is a perfectly legal product I mean I brought it in the city centre from a <coughs> from a, a shop in the city centre totally licensed for it and that this is totally legal harmless totally harm free or so they say and it has the benefits of cannabis in it and that the THC has has a lot of damaging parts of it and when I was growing up cannabis was considered to be a relatively non-damaging kind of safe enough street drug but what opened my eyes to th the way things have changed I thought that was still the case but what opened my eyes to that change that's happened culturally over the last couple of years is I volunteered at a Father Peter McFerry drug centre for a day and there were about 20 people there and half of them were there for cannabis use and that shocked me because I thought okay cannabis is a relatively non-damaging safe enough drug but two things uh, that I didn't realize has happened to cannabis or hash or weed whatever it is first of all the drug dealers are tampering with it in order to make it more dangerous more concentrated and synthetic and it is almost as dangerous as any other drug as a result and secondly it has an incredibly demotivating effect on people it sucks the ambition out of people and i know people to whom that has happened uh, people who are very successful and started smoking weed and 10 20 years later they have been sucked to the bone of any ambition or drive or anything to do anything so it is a lot more dangerous a drug than i originally would have thought when i was in college but and then of course you have the whole medical marijuana thing in california and i i think that is a reasonable thing that if marijuana has lots of benefits medically then it should be legalized and if something is legalized then at least we have uh, standards and we have uh, sort of quality standards to look at and i think it just disgusts me i, I despise drug dealers of all sorts because they peddle drugs to kids and i cannot abide by that and having to fund that would uh, would be totally against everything I believe in. But if we, if a drug is legalised and it was safe, I think that makes an awful lot of sense. It's not funding criminality and it's making society a better place. So CBD oil, there is a lot of hype about it. And so that is the box that it comes in. Um, a lot of hype. And one of the problems with it, of course, with a lot of these things, is that there is no real empirical empirical evidence yet as to its effectiveness there's a lot of anecdotal talk about whether it's effective or not I haven't really met anybody who has had significant benefits from it okay one person that was coming to mind actually now that I think of it who has had benefits he's been taking the CBD oil now for years and I wonder is that cumulative effect making difference and even today's study now I mean an empirical study is something that takes a lot of time and effort and has to be properly arranged so you have to have a control group and so I would have to have a control version of myself who's not taking this under identical conditions and it's very difficult to, to find that but so if I do feel a benefit later is that because I've had a good day which I have I'm quite relaxed anyway there are all those questions but I'll get some sort of idea I think maybe in an hour's time if this has had a positive benefit on me it's one of many things so I've been on a life's journey with combating anxiety and looking at every possible way every possible benign way that I can find in order to alleviate it and it's true medicine through herbs through uh, meditation all those other things and I've done a video of 15 um, things I've done for my mental health and this would be one of them so for me it's just part of a, a journey really and a fascinating one and seeing what works and what doesn't so hopefully in maybe 50 minutes time I'll see if that third 300 milligrams has had an effect I'm actually starting to feel something now Let's see. See you in a row. It's 10 p.m. So it's five hours since I took 300 milliliter, milligrams of CBD oil. And there has been zero 
effect from it. And this is partly what undermines my faith in it. I wonder if a lot of the effects that are psychological for people, because that was a reasonable enough quantity, I would have thought, you know, and I don't know what I was expecting. I suppose a calming feeling sort of reduces anxiety, which is why I was searching for it in the first place. Quite an unusual day at a two hour lecture. So maybe that was more stressful and kind of maybe negated the effects of it. But I don't really think, I can't really say for sure if I felt anything at all, which is quite disappointing because that was half a bottle. Those things aren't terribly cheap. I don't know how much I pay for it. Somewhere between 30, 40, 50, 60 euro maybe? No. I mean, it was probably closer to 40 euro, I'd say. It was probably 10 to 20 euro in one go, really, which having no effect is quite disappointing. I could try higher than that again, maybe twice as much. I mean, that would be the entire bottle, but I mean, that would be utterly ridiculous. I mean, you would be going through a bottle a day. It would want to be really working significantly well for that. So, look, I suppose it can't do any harm. I mean, possibly... There are other benefits that it does. Apparently, it's good for your immune system. It's good for your general health and so on. So maybe there are undetected positive effects from it that I'm not noticing. I'm not convinced, and it really doesn't seem to work. Let me know if it if you tried it and if you've got positive benefits or if you've got the same as me. And I'll see you next time.